Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow scientists, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Science. Hey, today we're extending our magnetism series. This is going to be station four, and we're going to be working on uh, magnetic force or magnetic, magnetic fields and uh, attraction and repulsion, okay? What I want you to do is to create, first create a KWL chart. So this is what you know about magnetic fields, what you want to know about magnetic fields and attraction and repulsion, and what you've learned, okay? So the purpose of this is to show you what this magnetic field can do, okay? I have different pieces, so I have this here, it's a little stand, or if you just have a pencil and some ring magnets, you can do, use that as well. I'm going to use the little stand so that you can see it better. Uh, of course, your paper with your KWL, and a compass. So with the compass, this is how I can determine, and I'm going to, if you can see this magnet, it has like a bar shape on one side and a, a circular, circular shape on the other. I want to find out which end is the north and which end is the south. And I do that by using a compass. And I can take this bar end, this bar end right here, and point it towards the, the compass, and, it, and the white is pointing south, so that means that this is, this is going to be a north end with the bar. If I turn it around, the red end uh, shows up, uh, pointing towards the magnet, so I know that's the south end. I'm going to take these magnets I'm going to place them where the south end is up. Let me get a few of them out here. And I'm making sure that all of them have the south ends that are up. Okay, so I want you to uh, write underneath your KWL wondering and then some space and noticing, okay, as well. So. I wonder what would happen if I put down, so I have the south end pointing up, as I have the, the round end up. I wonder what would happen if I have the south end and the north end. Well, let's take a look. Well, they attract to each other because that's what magnets do. The south is attracted to the north. I wonder what would happen if I turned this magnet around to where the south end and the south end meet. Let's take a look. Oh wow, look at that. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Now what would happen if I did the north end to north end? Do you think I could have spaces going in between all of them? Let's take a look. Oh, oh no, it broke. Let's try that again. I have south and south. See, things happen while you're doing experiments. So I have south and south, and I'm going to do north and north. So I'm not going to let it slam with each other. Oop. Let's see here. Okay. And I want to do... Look at that. Huh. What do you notice? Write down your noticings on this as well. What do you wonder about this? Do you think you can draw a picture of the magnetic fields around all of these magnets? I think you can. Okay, that's it for station number four. Uh, make sure you view all the other three, all four, well, I should say, make sure you view all four of them uh, to get a better understanding of what magnetism is and an understanding of what a magnetic field is as well attraction, and repulsion. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches Science. Remember, to be a scientist, all you have to be is a person that does science. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches.